What's up everybody? It's your boy Lionel Jinx coming to you once again and this is the WWE 2K Dev Spotlight Series Episode 7. And in today's episode we're going to be showing you guys a bunch of the new things that we added to the Create Suite this year that allows you guys to take your creativity to a whole new level so you can hashtag be like no one. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I hope you guys like it. Check it out. We added a variety of face templates that represent different races and ethnicities, which you can use as is or modify to your liking. We also changed the way that we handle body types this year. We give you guys the option to choose between two different body types that you can blend in between to find your superstar's ideal body type. Don't worry, we still allow you to customize the body on a more granular level by allowing you guys to choose between different shapes per body part. You can even add some flair to hairstyles that expose a scalp by choosing between some pretty cool designs that get carved into your superstar's head. Speaking of carving, we now allow you to move scars around all over the body. We also stepped up our dental game. If you want to go for that brawler look, you can now because we allow you to remove teeth from your superstar's mouth. We also added a few new material types this year, such as carbon fiber, glitter, glow, and black light. But we'll come back to that later on. I know this was a sore subject for many users out there. The fading of the edges on the logos. In previous years, the logos would fade out whenever they got close to the edges. You guys will be pleased to learn that we fixed that this year. We added a new logo mapping method that allows you to wrap the logo around the part. Last year we introduced a new feature that allowed you to create stitch patterns for your attire. There were some issues with it so this year we redesigned it. So rather than applying stitch patterns right onto the superstar, we allow you to draw the pattern first and apply it later and it gets saved to a library so you can reuse those patterns wherever you want. So for body art, we added the ability to combine the emboss effect with transparency, so the body art can have a branding-like effect when applied. Within the CAS menu, we added the ability to preview the different lighting scenarios throughout the game. This comes in really handy when applying those glow and black light materials that I touched on earlier. Having this functionality allows you to control how intense these materials behave throughout various parts of the game. Now we're not limiting these materials to just the tire. You can also apply these effects to tattoos, body art, and hair as well. Now when you combine these type of effects with create an entrance, you can really create some interesting looks that really help your superstar stand out. We're even allowing you to have more control over the menu pose as well. Not only can you choose which pose you want for the body, but we isolate the hands as well as the expressions to give your superstar a more distinct look. To take it a step further, we're also allowing you to use the entrance attire as your menu screen pose as well. One of my favorite additions to Create an Arena was giving you guys the ability to create a smaller venue. In Create a Show, you now have the ability to assign a referee to your show. One of my favorite features that we added this year, might sound a little silly, but I don't care, I'm old school, is the 8-bit filter. You can now apply an 8-bit filter to your show. So if you're feeling kind of nostalgic and want to take a trip down memory lane, you can do so. And we totally changed the way we handled the highlight reel this year. During a match, all you got to do is pause the game, go to highlight reel, save off your highlights. You don't have to do any encoding. Go back to playing your match, save more highlights. When you're done, you go into the menus, go into create a video, access your highlights, choose your start and end point, choose your camera angle, and yes, we do have free cam support. We even added the ability to hide referees, the crowd, and the background while encoding the video. This will add an alpha mask slash transparency to your video. We also added some videos with alpha channels and transparency built in, so you can layer these on top of existing clips. With these additions, 
we're giving you a lot of freedom to create some really interesting looks to your videos. So you can pretty much place the superstars in any environment that you see fit. Check this out. We also added custom match types. This feature allows you to customize a match type by saving off the rules of that match type and accessing it later on elsewhere in the game. That's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of the WWE 2K Dev Spotlight Series, Episode 7. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. I'm going to leave you guys with all the new moves that we added to WWE 2K18. Now this clip is long and I sped it up and it's still long. So I'm going to let this thing play out. You might want to get some popcorn so you can sit back, relax, and watch the show. So until next time, see y'all soon. Peace.
Get the deluxe edition and play four days early.